नमस्ते हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया आई एम जेविन डॉक्टर लिली त्रिवेदी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द लेक्चर ऑफ बी एस सी ए जी सेकेंड सेम द टॉप सब्जेक्ट इज फंडामेंटल ऑफ क्रॉप फिजियोलॉजी लैब एंड द पेपर इज एंड द सेशन इज एस्टिमेशन ऑफ रिलेटिव वॉटर कंटेंट सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द सेशन for this i'll be sharing a file with you now we'll study what is the aim of to study this topic now what happens the soil normally contains a finite amount of water which can be expressed as the soil moisture content now where does this moisture exist it exists between the pore spaces between soil aggregates and it is called inter aggregate and within the soil aggregates where it is called intra aggregate normally this pore space is occupied by air and or water if all the pores are occupied by air the soil will completely dry up and if all the pores are filled with water the soil is said to be saturated so we must have a knowledge of the amount of water present in the soil before adding any other fertilizer or any other component so here is a diagram which is showing the inter aggregate and the intra aggregate now what is the procedure now we weigh both two aluminum dishes and a aliquot of approximately 50 g of moist soil in each aluminum dish is taken and again we weigh the soil so now we know the weight of the moist soil in the sample now we dry dry the soil overnight at 105 degree centigrade in the oven in the morning we remove the dishes from the oven and allow them to cool now again we will reweigh the dishes plus with the oven dry soil and now the weight of the dry soil is calculated so here we calculate the soil moisture content for each replicate sample used so mc is the moisture content percentage moisture content so weight of the moist soil that we had originally taken minus weight of the dry soil divided by weight of the dry dry soil now this will give the moisture content so on a dry weight basis example the weight of moist soil is 102 g and the weight of dry soil is 90 g so we will get the moisture contained as 13.3% now if we add 5 g of water so the new moist weight will be 107 is the moisture is the mo weight of moist soil and 90 is the same the weight of the dry soil so the moisture content now will be 18.9% so this is how we will know how, how much amount of water is present in the soil and this is required for again knowing the percentage of water present already present in the soil so what is the use of this knowledge so for example if we are going to conduct the experiment with soil in which we have to and a known concentration of ammonium fertilizer for example 50 microgram per gram then the moisture content on dry weight basis must be determined now if we, the calculation is completed on dry wet weight basis the amount of fertilizer to be added will depend upon the moisture content of the soil sample therefore if the potted plant is considered the moisture content must be known in order to make sure the soil is not too dry or not too wet because in the dry soil there is no not enough moisture and in too wet soil it is water logged and anaerobic respiration starts taking place so in the field also this knowledge can prevent excessive irrigation and leaching of the soil nutrients so this is all student i hope you have found my session interesting and if you have any query do comment in the comment section this session was powered by digital version 2.0
ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमन यूनिवर्सिटी थैंक यू वेरी मच नमस्कार